Okay, good morning boys and girls. Welcome back to Teachers Lala's class. Today is Thursday. Yes, and if you have forgotten, our theme of this week is autumn. Okay, right. So, boys and girls, as you know, our morning routines runs with our Bible. And then we go on to our days of the week and our months of the year. And then we do our weather chart, our alphabet, our counting as well as our shape of the week. Right, so let's start with our Bible story. Okay, so boys and girls, today's Bible story is Hannah prays. It's in 1 Samuel verse 1. Hannah couldn't have children. This made her very sad. One day, while Hannah and her husband, Elkanah, were in church, she prayed to the Lord and asked him to give her a baby. Hannah cried, cried while she was praying. The preacher's name was Eli. He wondered why she cried so much. Hannah told him it was because she really wanted a baby. So boys and girls, as you can see here, they, they are in church, boys and girls. There's Hannah crying and the preacher that was wondering why she's crying so much. Okay, let's move on. Eli spoke to Hannah and gave her hope. Not long after that day, the Lord gave Hannah a baby boy. His name was Samuel. Hannah was very happy that God has given her a son. So boys and girls, the, the, what we learn about the story is that we should be kind to our friends when they are sad. And please boys and girls, remember if someone is sad, you need to go to them and tell them it's okay. Everything will be alright. Okay, close your eyes and I'm going to pray for us. Lord, thank you for listening to my prayers. Thank you, Lord, that I know that you are always there for us and that you will send the right friends and family and people to be at our sides when we need it the most. And most of all, Lord, help us to always remember that you are always at our side and that we are never alone. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So boys and girls, now that we have done our Bible story for today, we are going to go on and move on to our days of the week. So boys and girls, if we look at our days of the week, we see that they are all different days. How many days are there boys and girls? There are seven days in one week. Okay, so let's start. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. And what day is it today, boys and girls? It's Thursday. Well done. So you're going to take your pick and your arrow, and you are going to put it on Thursday. Well done. Okay, boys and girls, let's quickly do our months of the year. January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yes, well done boys and girls. And how many months of the year do we have? We have 12. Yes. So, let's move on to our weather chart. Okay. So, boys and girls, if we look outside, look outside your window and look and look, do you see any clouds in the sky? No. Do we see any rain? No. Do we see sunshine? Yes, boys and girls, well done. So you take your peg and your arrow and you put it on sunshine. And please remember, boys and girls, that the weather can change at any second and then it might be cold, it might be cloudy, and it might be raining, okay, right. 
So let's move on to our alphabet. Get your alphabet card ready and let us start. A, B, K, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, O, F, W, X, Y, Z. Well done boys and girls. Right, let's move on to our counting card. Get your counting card ready and let us start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, now from ten to one backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Well done, boys and girls. And please remember, you need to count from one all the way to 50 at home. All right. Well done. So, boys and girls, last but not least, our shape and our color of the week. All right. So, boys and girls, who can remember this? It's a triangle. Yes. And what color is this, boys and girls? Orange? No, it's red. Yes, well done, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, now that we are done with our morning routine, we are going to go on to our theme discussion. So, boys and girls, remember the theme of this week is still autumn, but today we are looking at different animals in autumn and what they actually do. Right. So, boys and girls, as you know, we get all different types of animals. So, here we see some birds flying. We see some animals that are um, starting to prepare for winter as well. Alright, so let us see, boys and girls. When we look at animals, we find all sorts of animals. But we are especially looking at birds and all different types of critter animals, alright? So boys and girls, if you have a dog or a cat at home or even any type of pet, a hamster or anything, you will notice that their coat, the hair on their body, that is starting to get thicker. Why boys and girls? Well, because we are moving to autumn. So in autumn, all the little critters and animals are getting ready for winter. That means that they need to get some food ready to help them so that they don't have to go out in the cold and to go and collect food when they are hungry. So they go around, they collect food, nuts, acorns, seed or whatever they eat. They go out, they collect it, and they bring it back to their home, which we call a nest. Right. So, boys and girls, especially as well with birds. If we look at birds, boys and girls, we will see them moving to warmer type of um, areas. Like if they are, whether or now it's starting to get cold, so they sleep and they um, are trying to um, prepare to fly a long way to go somewhere where it is warmer. And as well, boys and girls, what do we call the long sleep in winter when we talk about little critter animals like a porcupine or even squirrels? We get some foxes and we get some bunnies, all of those boys and girls, even some bears. They hibernate when they sleep in winter. So boys and girls, that's when they get in, um, in autumn, they get ready, they collect all the food and stuff they need, they take it back to their nest, which we call their home, and then they are going to sleep for winter. So that means they go and store the food that they have collected, and all only when they wake up, boys and girls, the only reason why they wake up in hibernation is to eat and to go outside and maybe 
uh, pp or something like that but then they go right back into their nest and they sleep for the rest of the time so boys and girls that's what happens in hibernation so when we look at autumn boys and girls this is how the little animals all over the world get ready for the winter they use autumn to collect all their stuff they need like food and water and then they are preparing to sleep through winter and have enough food okay okay boys and girls you have received a blank page like this by teacher Anna I couldn't get extra yesterday and before that because we didn't have any extra but just to show you this is how yours is going to look boys and girls page 20 21 as well as page 22 okay so boys and girls please make sure that this is how your pages look like we're going to start with the middle one here and it's page 20 please remember to write in your name boys and girls i'm just going to explain you what to do and then i'm going to show you how teacher zala did it okay so on page 20 they ask us to write our names please write your name in the name column and then they ask us say the sound of the letters out loud and decide which sound does not um, be belong in the sequence okay then they ask us cross out the letter that has a different sound okay so boys and girls you're going to look at these letters you're going to say the sound okay so obviously we hear boys and girls that a does not sound the same as okay right so you're going to cross out a for me right when we go to the next um, row boys and girls they ask us cross out the letter that looks different okay so boys and girls if we look at these letters we know because we have done them before that this is the letter G, H, H, H. Okay, but does G look like the three H's, boys and girls? No, it does not. So, we are going to take a red crayon and we are going to cross out the G. Well done. Okay, boys and girls, now that we are done with that one, we are going to move on to page 21. So what's going to happen boys and girls, you're going to write your name on top on the name column and then they ask us, follow the arrows to trace over the letters. Okay, so then we need to do the E, the F, the G and the H. The reason why it's in this order, boys and girls, remember this is how the alphabet goes. It's A, B, K, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, so that's why we do it like this. Right, please do that picture as well with your crayon or with your um, grey pencil. And please send it back for teacher Anna so that I can mark them okay boys and girls if we look at this page we see that it's page 22 that ask us to write our name on top and then they ask match the word to the pictures right so here boys and girls we have a picture of a grape grapes a frog eggs and a hippo so, if we look at the words at the bottom that are in dotted lines with a frame, with a dotted line frame, we see that there is grapes, eggs, hippo and frog. Okay, so what you need to do boys and girls, sorry, let me just, okay, so what you need to do boys and girls is color in these pictures for me and please cut out these words at the bottom and let mommy and daddy help you if you cannot read 
and swell yet and ask them to please help you to pair the words with the pictures okay right now to the, i'm going to show you how teacher sama has done hers and then you can just compare it with yours send it back and then i will mark it sorry about that right so on page 20 boys and girls you have seen that teacher sama has written her name in the name column and i have started with the top one with the f and the e and i have crossed out the e because the sound that we hear from the e is not the same as the f okay and here boys and girls they have asked us to cross out the letter that does not look the same so here we had g h h h and we are going to cross out g because it does not look the same as h okie dokie right so yes boys and girls on page 21 we have seen i have written my name in the name column and they ask us again to follow the arrows and the dots to trace over the letters as you can see boys and girls teachers allah has done hers very neatly and nicely please try your best boys and girls to not lift your pencil when doing this activity it helps us to remember the alphabet all right so on page 22 as i said you can cut out the words that were at the bottom if i can compare them let me do this and then i can show you as you can see teacher zella has cut it out her words at the bottom i have colored my pictures as well boys and girls and i have stuck the um, the uh, words with the pictures as you can see here is grapes so i have stuck the word grapes with the picture the word frog is with the picture of the frog the word x is with the picture of the x and the word hippo has been cut it out and stuck with the hippo picture okay doggy boys and girls so please boys and girls send a picture for teacher zala and i will mark it okay boys and girls that is all from teacher zala for today i hope that you have enjoyed it as much as i did and i love you guys and please be safe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.